Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Indie Brew, the only show on the internet dedicated to two of mankind's finest achievements, Junior and Gaming. I'm your host, Vasse, as always, and today we are looking at 100% orange juice from Orange Juice. And since we are at 100% orange juice already, we're not going to do an orange beer, you would think otherwise, but we are doing Bridgeport's Kingpin Triple Hopped Double Red Ale. So this is going to be bitter as hell, I imagine. And we'll get the pour on here. And it's not quite red. That is a brown. I know red ales aren't typically red, although there was the red ale that we got in uh, the Game of Thrones pack that we did. This is 7.5 alcohol by volume, by the way. So it's going to smell. It's a nice ambery brown color. It's not, not as red as they say. Very bubbly, which is a good sign. And that smells very citrusy. So maybe we're doing 100% orange juice plus 0.01% orange peel. So we'll be back with the game in just a moment. All right, so we are back here with 100% orange juice. So this is a card game with RPG elements and board game elements. It's a board game with card decks and... RPG elements, because each character that you can play actually depend changes the card deck that you can use. So there are different play styles depending on different characters, so RPG elements. Um, we're just going to do a game. The goal seems to be getting n what's called Norma. It's basically just like a win condition, and you have to stack up five, six of them. The f sixth one is your win. If you get, f you know, six, you win. You get five, and then the next one you win. Um... And there are different tiles, there are boss fights, there are actually combat fights. It's it's actually a really interesting game, and it looks completely freaking absurd. So, because it's so freaking absurd, we are going to need some... Ooh, and it actually lightened up a little bit. That's very nice. It actually is now a nice amber-red color, which is what you want. So, I had a couple minutes to sit. All I'm just smelling, all I'm smelling now is alcohol, so let's give it a shot. Oh yeah, it's bitter. It's almost like a medicine taste to that. It's hoppy to the extreme. It's so it's so hoppy. Oh my goodness. And it's so bitter. And in a pleasant way, I know I'm like freaking out here, but just like just this wave of bitterness went through me like a 95-year-old widow who's watched everyone that she knows and loves and cares for in the world dies and on her deathbed. They say, what's your one regret? And all she has is just hatred for the world. That's how bitter this thing is. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get to the game. So I will show that we will actually, we'll do a, a profile. So um, we can choose our name and we'll just go with... X for now, I guess, because I'm just going to delete it. So, I think there might even be more characters you can unlock. Um, well, it's so bitter still. It's like clinging to my palate. Um, Seeker, uh, uh, only one human. It, you know, there's definitely humor involved in this. It, it's a game that doesn't take itself seriously. I think if this game tried to be anything but the kawaii desu-ness, uh I think I'd actually have a bit more of a, a problem actually suggesting buying this, but I think as a multiplayer game, if, as you pick it up, and I played, uh, you know, just a test run, and I actually, again, I, I actually think it's it's not that bad, um, even as a single player game, definitely would like to play this with more people. Um, this is the easy difficulty character, it's who I picked, obviously, for the beginning. Uh, a fool of a dog will do anything for the sake of pudding. It, it's, it's definitely got this four coma-esque style, and for those of you who aren't into anime and manga, which I obviously am, four coma are like little four panel strips that are usually just jokes and puns and things like that. So this definitely seems to hammer in on the Japanese humor, and just humor in general. So, that's good. Um, Suguri, over 10,000 years old, really fast, and all or nothing character relies on her high invasion for survival. So each character has its own attributes, like I said, which I think is actually really interesting. The game definitely feels like it has a lot of depth to it. Good attack and defense can direct deal damage with her hypercard, medium difficulty, and Kai 
Well, we're in a battle character, medium difficulty. So, I am going to... Well, I don't even need to uh, delete the character. Oh my god, still so better. Um, we'll, we'll do a game, and we'll see how that goes. I'll probably lose, because I, I kind of don't know what I'm playing. There are campaign modes for each character, which will let you get stars, I think, at the end of each. I don't know if you get stars, even if you... Excuse me, if you lose, I hope so. And you can buy more cards for your deck, and thus you can kind of mix and match your deck and kind of, you know, create a character for yourself in a playstyle that you, you like. So there's a lot of variety, there's a lot of depth, like I said, to this game. So we are going to choose QP, which I guess is a joke, since she likes putting QP as a, a huge brand in Japan. They make mayo and sesame sauce. And there seems to be a storyline going on. Um, I'm not going to read this, because... Yeah. But there does seem to be a storyline. I am I need another drink. So bitter. So bitter. Oh my god, yes. It's so... Oh, whew. I would actually drink this. I wouldn't drink this on the regular. But if someone wanted to, uh... Offer this to me and then offer me, like, a Lembeck... I could totally do that, because this needs something sweet to... Oh, needs something sweet. And see, there are different characters that the CPUs are going to play. So I think playing these game modes, I think there might actually be more characters, which is awesome. More more playstyles is good. So this is our deck creation. Um, I am going to take some, some cards. This is boost, uh, roll to die for movement, because it is a board game, again. I am going to take the healing, because we're going to need it. Um... Two defense, you may not use the evade command. I actually don't like that during this battle game. I do like the one attack, one defense. Because each character has their own attack defense stats. And you, you level up as well. So, again, there's RPG elements. Um, I will totally take flip out. Um, and I will take some trap cards because I like to be a dick. And I do like randomizing the board just for chaos. And we will take that. So we are ready. We are going to go and play against these NPCs, and probably get our ass kicked. Here's our board. There is, of course, a stack of cards in the middle. We can, if we want, put down a card. We can't select our boost. So I am going to move. Uh, positioning on the board seems to be random. So I'm going to try to explain some of these things. Purple is warp. Yellow is bonus, red is an attack, or a enemy. We have one star, five hit points, as you can see up here. Um, I actually have one of the characters um, not selected. Or my, my, uh, my face cam is actually over one character, so let me move that. And I'll move that right here. Sorry, I didn't know that was going to be the way it is. Um, so we can get info, which will show us the board. And I forget what the green does, but I guess we'll find out when we move, and I forget what the blue does. Um, there's there's a lot of rules to this thing, um, and it definitely feels like a game where you just need to spend time with it, with friends, and, and go at your own pace. So we can't select a card, so we're just going to move. Here's our thing. The animations are really good. I didn't talk about that. So I am going to try this. And green is draw a card, so we're going to let the NPCs do their thing. I'll probably finish the beer off here just so that we can get drunk quick because this game kind of seems to need that. Um, yeah, Breckenridge, triple hop, uh, double red, triple double. She gets a bonus roll, and she got some, some stars there. So I'm going to hopefully get some cards here. Um, we can't select either of these cards, so we're going to move. And five. And we got a bonus, so hopefully we can get some... Yes! So it looks like when you land on a bonus, you can roll for how many stars you get. And I think... I, I, I don't know how you get Norma. That's the one thing I, I don't know. But it'll say Norma get. So these... Oh, I thought those two were going to fight. Okay, so this is a fight. I, I think that's like a... Yep, there you go. We'll, we'll talk more about fighting when we get to it. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, and you can also die. And you can come back to life by, by chances and stuff like that. It's like, again... There's a ton of fucking rules here, and unfortunately I don't think I'm going to be able to cover it. And chapters are, by the way, are, are what turns are. So I am going to move, and hopefully... 
We actually got one healing. Uh, Norma has been achieved. So we actually have one Norma, which is awesome. But I don't see it showing it on. And here's another combat. We'll, we'll get in combat at some point. But you can kind of see what, what's going on. But again, we'll, we'll talk more about that when I'm able. And she got Norma. So I think if you hit these signposts, you achieve Norma. Um, so I will click. And I will get six. And we will go this way. And I do want to battle. Yes. So she has three HP. We can actually use Hyper Mode, which is a battle card. We gain two attack, which you can see our attack down here. Sorry for uh, not knowing how to like explain this all that well. Um, during this battle, if your unit suffers KO during this battle, no stars will be lost. So you lose stars if you lose the battles and goes to the winning team, obviously. And the unit will revive next turn. So I will use Hyper Mode. And our attack... And I, th I think we'll actually damage her just a little bit. And we are going to evade, which will hopefully... Um, be able to... Oh, nope, we took... We totally got KO'd. <laughs> we didn't lose anything, so that's good. Uh, she kicked our ass. She seems like a battle character. Um, so she's gonna move, and we will revive next turn. So it was a good idea to do what we did. And we will revive, so that means we get our turn, which is awesome. Hopefully you guys figure... Oh, and we don't get to move on our turn... Uh, on our revive turn, unfortunately. And she got a Norma. Get 10 or more stars, I think it said. So I think she's got Norma twice. Which means we want to fucking kill her. Oh, no. Um, so we'll click our movement. We'll get 6. You want to stop at home. There's a mine card there. I think we'll take some damage. Yeah. But we achieved Norma. So we have 2 Norma. We need th uh, 4 more. And hopefully he'll kick her butt. Good job. Kick, kill her. Kill her. Norma clear. Get 10 or more stars. And we did lose stars. Even though it said we wouldn't. So, like I said, we're probably going to get trounced by the NPCs. But I actually really like this game. And again, I think it'd be fun to, to play with friends. It's, it seems almost like a less aggressive Mario party so we got some more stars which is awesome and i i really like the music but it it's just kind of you know there we should start laying down cards if possible so hopefully you guys get the get the gist of it i know there's a lot of like flashing lights and confusing stuff but yuki the wolf there seems to be pretty ridiculous so we will dash so we'll get to move twice Yeah, we got achieved Norma. Uh, choose the next Norma to meet. 30 more, um, I think 30 stars. That's good. So we can actually choose kind of our, our, our quest, which seems to be what Norma is. So we actually achieved Norma, so we're actually actually in this race, um, which is good. I don't really don't want to fight uh, the players because they all seem to be pretty um, pretty ridiculously powerful. So I guess we're, we're going to fight. So we actually killed her, and we got her stars. So we'll click. Ah, oh, we killed two people. That should have been our Norma, but we still got Norma because we got 30. Yes, good. So we actually took out all the players. That's good. And I think they get a chance to revive each turn. So we actually, we actually brought this around. So awesome. And again, chapters are... Um... And I think we're going to fight, yes, a drone. Um, we are Waruda. Move all trap cards onto randomly chosen panels. Uh, we can't use it, so. Hopefully this thing doesn't kill us. Ah, damn. Oh, well. Ha 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 Fuck you. See, and this is the kind of game this is. And I really, I love board games. So having an online board game is actually really cool. So she got Norma, so she's actually close to winning, but we're actually not doing too terribly bad. We just need to get um, to home, which I think is 
how you do it uh, to get Norma, which so we need to be here. So she some she revived, which sucks. Oh, she's getting so many, so many stars. I need to just go and screw her over. Oh, she got Norma clear. Awesome. Very good. Mine layer. So three. Ah, oh, damn. Ah, oh, so they're all back. So it, it's nice that you, you're you not taken permanently out of the game. Wow, so bitter. If you like bitter beer, this one, man. So we'll go till we win. Hopefully you, you guys are picking up on some of the stuff. I'm learning a lot. I really like this game now. The, the more I play... The, ha the the more I like it, so I'm 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 I, I would actually suggest buying this game, which seems strange to say that we, with 100% orange juice, we would say uh, buy this game. We, as in I myself and no one else. But yeah, totally. This is totally a game that I would pick up. If you have friends that live in other states and you've always wanted to play online games with them. I really hope this thing screws her over. Oh no, she's gonna de destroy it, yeah. So it is our turn. And and also, you know, watching NPCs play, same as Mario Party. So we got a card, which we got Assault, which is good. We're not any closer to getting Norma clear, but... The game's absurd. The game doesn't take itself seriously, as you can see. The music is good. The graphics are actually really nice, especially if you like the anime style. We're gonna lose, I think, but... You know. We have to land on one of those. I really want to be able to get at least Norma clear. There you go. So we have tons of stars. Not as many as Mary Popo. But, uh, he just took her out of the fucking race. For at least a turn. Which, she seems to be just ridiculous. So she gets one, and she gets a card. So, the game definitely opens up. It, it, it looks more daunting than it actually is. And that's, that's good. I don't know why it's called 100% Orange Juice. This seems to take a lot of the, the characters from their other games and merge them in, so maybe that's why. So it's almost like it is almost like a Mario Party, only with this very small independent Japanese company that I oh she killed herself. Well, that's good. Um, move all trap cards to a random place. So, and then we will move, and I hope we only get we only got two. Um, but that's okay. We got Norma clear. Um. Get 70 or more cards. We can actually do that. So it's it's nice that we can pick these things. He got Norma clear, so he's back into this. So we're actually got we actually have, have a chance to actually succeed, which is awesome. I'm I'm really happy to. Oh yeah, he totally. So it only seems like you only get one turn, and if they kill you, then they kill you. But <laughs> one, two, three. So we only need three. Oh yep. Yeah. We lost, we, we missed our turn because of that trap card, so, um, I'm not gonna drink the, the foam because that seems to be the, 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 uh, the craziest bitterness, so, and I'm feeling it. That is a really strong beer. This game is hilarious. I would love to play with other people. I think that'd be a lot of fun, and it definitely drinking improves this game like 100%, so, keep in mind that... I may be inebriated enough to wear ah uh, to we get a card, but that's okay. That a little bit of uh you know foggy-headed inebriation would be potentially it it moving my my feelings of this game from it's okay, it's funny to I really like this and I'm actually having a really good time playing this game and I would have more I would this is not even inebriated va this is just honest va I would have a lot of fun playing this with other people. I, I have a feeling that this can destroy friendships. And that's awesome. Yes! And we got Norma! We're actually we're actually um doing doing very well. We may actually win this. That's absurd.
This stupid CPU, though. This one right here. The lady who stole my... Stole my pudding. So she's gonna get some more stars. What we really want to do is we want to be able to fight people. Um, battle the player who set this card, starting with their attack. I think we'll just move. Um, I I think we can I think we can fuck this guy up. Personally. Yep, totally fucked him up, and we got. That's fine with me. Fuck you! <laughs> See, there's there's this level of RPG-ness that's going on here that really jives with me. I really am enjoying this. And that's that's just it's dumb. Why why? I don't understand. And we're gonna get more more stars. We may actually we may actually and even if I was losing, I think I'd actually really like this game. Other than I, I have a, I have a feeling that uh, oh don't okay good. I was I was afraid that she would move and try to kill us. Oh no! Oh no! I think this is this is a boss. We're gonna get fucked. Yeah, we got fucked. And we lost. Oh, that that really sucks. I'm I'm afraid that we. Oh, uh, that blows. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck you. We're all so close. A, a boss can appear every time some. Every any time that. Ah, uh, oh, good, 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 good. Any time you get higher than. Four Norma. Which is cool, so there actually are boss fights, although the boss seems to just be like an insta-fuck. So she got Norma, so the next Norma that she gets, she'll actually win. Which sucks, but even if we lose, I really have had a fun time with this. And it's dumb to say. We are totally gonna battle her. Damn. Damn. Well, we can't possibly get hurt by her. So the normally wasn't achieved, but there's nothing we can do about that. We need 120. So. Yeah, and in fact, in, in reading all the rules, I was like, oh my god, this game is ridiculously complex. But having played it, the rules are actually really, really open-ended and really well designed. Oh yes, anytime you land on the boss. Oh yeah, it actually changed. Very cool. Fuck her up. Yes! <laughs> I'm not the only one who got fucked over by the boss. Oh, good. Good, good, good. So we're actually getting more. More stars. I really want to achieve Norma. Obviously. I, I want to win. It's so dumb, this game. Uh, good. You haven't achieved Norma. You probably need like 180 stars. So... Uh, battle the player who set this card. Hopefully she'll, uh... Oh, no! Oh, yes! Man, this boss thing is gonna ruin everybody! Oh, good! He actually, he actually managed to, um... Oh, yeah, she's totally gonna fight me. Ha! Fuck you! Ah, it's so good! I can't believe that I'm actually getting into this. One, two, three, yeah. I don't know what blue does. It just seems like a drop. Okay. I think you have to get, like, a six. Oh, it's how many car- how many, um... Oh my goodness. She's somehow still just, oh, but she actually has one attack, so she actually got. So she dropped three. Okay, so dr winning on blue is bad. 
But landing on a boss trap would be even worse. And we didn't achieve Norma, so. I can't believe that we're actually, like, I, I, I'm actually enjoying this. Oh my god. Yes, we can each other. Oh, you fucked her up. You fucked her up so bad. Good. F your Norma. Obviously, we, we go this way. <laughs> oh my god. This is so tight! It's retarded! Not to uh, insult retarded people, obviously. I mean, in, in nothing but the, the nicest of terms. Oh, she actually said no! Oh no, you're done for. And you can level up when you get Norma. That's the stars, basically. Um... Which, we set that card, so we're not gonna have to battle anybody. So that's nice. And you get, you know, you get stars each time the, the turn goes. So, that's good. Ah, fuck you! Um, yeah, we'll go this way. It moved us back one panel. Oh, fuck him up. Oh, he's actually gonna maybe kill the boss. That's insane. Oh, no, he totally did not kill the boss there. Holy crap. And I think the, the revive chance gets lower each time. Yeah, we're totally going here. Ah, oh, damn it. He got lucky with that roll. Yeah, seriously. The fact the fact that I'm just like, yes. And no each time. Oh, I can't I cannot believe the absurdity of this game. Ah, oh, yes. We actually um get 200 or more stars. Yeah, totally. We can we can totally get that. I wish the cards would stay on a little bit longer, so that I could actually read what's going on. Aw, oh, we didn't get the... you... you bastard. Oh. Yeah. How much health does she have? She has full health. And he has full health. I I say we fight. We lost. That was a bad choice on my part. Ah, oh, ah, oh, damn it. That was my, my, my bad. I should have just said no. We threw. We threw at the end. Good job, Va. Uh... Everyone. Oh my god, we threw so bad. Man, oh man. I have, I'll have to do the actual campaign on my own off camera. That is hilarious. I can't believe it. I really am enjoying myself. Yeah, so it does it does lower, and we're just rolling ones. The RNG is a cruel mistress. And we were so we were so close. She's she's totally gonna win this. Nah, that's a shame. I do wonder if we'll we'll actually get to keep the stars that we earn. Okay, thank uh, thankfully at least we can we can 
we're not gonna be able to pull this back, but we'll we'll totally be able to do something. Nope, she won. Well, let's be 100% orange juice, guys. We'll see how this this goes. Shame that she won. I I for my first game, I don't think I felt I did all that badly. We got uh, third out of fourth. Break down the gain total. So did we actually get? Did we actually get to keep the stars? That's the question. Oh, I think we did. I think we actually did. So we'll actually we'll buy some booster packs. Got a common card. Booster packs only give you one card. That's a shame. So, that's been 100% orange juice, guys. Um, I actually really like this game. And I can't believe I'm saying that. Pick this up. It's hilarious. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching.